Hello everybody! In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a multi-boot USB drive with Windows 7, 8 and 10 and even with Ubuntu operating system. If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. You can use such drive to install one of the operating systems at your choice, in contrast to the commonplace situation of one bootable drive, one operating system. You will learn where to download official images of Windows 7, 8 and 10 of various bitness and how to add them to bootable media. Now, let's have a closer look at creating such a cool USB drive. Start with downloading a special app, WinUSB, which can write several operating system images to one drive and do it at the same time. It can work with such systems as Windows, Windows PE, various live CDs that don't require installation and Linux-type operating systems. The number of such images is only limited by the capacity of the drive you are using. You can download the app from the official website by following the link below this video. It doesn't have to be installed, just launch this file, preferably with administrator rights, and get down to work. You can download properly licensed Windows images from the Microsoft website and the only condition is that you will need a serial key for Windows 7. Without it, uh, you can't download Windows 7 from this website. After you start the app, plug a USB drive into your computer. If it contains any important data, copy it to the computer's hard disk as the USB drive will have to be formatted, and all the data will be gone, uh, when you turn it into a bootable drive. In the window that opens, you will see several options on the right. It could be an ISO image of an operating system, a DVD containing an operating system installation package, a Windows PE, which stands for Portable Operating System Image, and an image of Linux Ubuntu. Right from this app, you can download the latest version of Ubuntu, the AVG Rescue System Recovery Tool, the ESET Note 32 Antivirus, and a whole ton of drivers with Driver Pack Network. To add Windows images, click ISO, select a downloaded operating system image file and open it. Specify a corresponding name so that during the installation you can see what specific operating system it is. To add another Windows image, repeat these steps. Select an image file and give it a name to be displayed during the installation. If you want to add to your multi-boot drive an image of Windows PE, a portable version that can work without installation, choose WinPE ISO and open a corresponding image file. And there is a special video tutorial about creating a Windows PE drive on our YouTube channel, so you can watch it by following the link in the description below. To add a Linux Ubuntu image, uh, open the section OS and Drivers. If you already have an installation package on your hard disk, select Ubuntu ISO file and specify the path. If you don't have it, select Ubuntu Desktop to download an image and don't forget to choose the proper bitness. The operating system will be downloaded while the multiboot drive is created. Uh, to add several images of the same operating system, for example, the 32-bit and 64-bit versions of Windows 7, Repeat the same steps for as many times as necessary for the number of images you want to write to the USB drive. The point is to make sure that your drive has enough space to hold all of those images. One more thing. If you are going to install Windows 7, for example, it would be great to have a corresponding driver package at hand, so right after installing the operating system you can set up the most essential drivers immediately. 
For example, you can add network drivers and the rest can be downloaded from the computer with a freshly installed Windows. To add drivers, select OS and Drivers, find the tab Drivers, and then the button Add Driver Pack. When you click on it, the driver pack will be added to the list of operating systems. To create a multi-boot drive after adding operating system images, click Next in the corner below. Now, select the file system for your multi-boot drive. Remember that new computers with UEFI support FAT32 but may not work properly with NTFS. On the contrary, older computers often don't recognize USB drives with FAT32 file system when you enter their BIOS. Which means uh, you might have to experiment with file systems a bit before you go on. In the future, you may also need to enter UEFI and switch the bootloader to BIOS compatible. Confirm your decision to format the drive and wait for the process to finish. If the USB drive you are using is based on comparatively slow memory chips, it may take half an hour or even longer. First of all, the application will download the data which is not available on the disk, Ubuntu installation package, driver package and other utilities, and then will begin writing ISO images. When the process is over, the program will inform you that the multi-boot USB drive is ready. That's all. Now you can use this USB drive to boot or install an operating system. When booting from the flash drive, select the necessary installation package in the boot menu or in the Windows Boot Manager. If you encounter any problems with booting from a USB flash drive, we have a very helpful video tutorial in our channel, so you can watch it by following the link below. In case of any problems with booting or installation, or if you see error messages when installing the operating system, try creating the USB drive with a different file system. That is, if you have this USB drive written in FAT32 format and there were problems, Try using a similar USB drive, but this time in NTFS, and vice versa. Also, try switching the boot mode from BIOS to UEFI and then the other way around. To avoid problems, it is better not to write installation packages of operating systems with different compatibility features, or combine two types of installers. For example, UEFI compatible and UEFI incompatible. Of course, there are other ways of creating a multi-boot drive as well, but they are more complicated. For example, you can use another tool, WinSetup from USB. You can download it from its official website by following the link in the description. Plug a USB drive into your computer and run the program. In the main window, use the top field to select the USB drive you'll be using for writing the images. As well as in the previous case, all data in such drive will be removed. Check this option Auto Format it with FB Inst to have the USB drive formatted automatically and prepared for becoming a multi boot one. To get a USB drive for booting with UFI and installation of an operating system onto a GPT disk, use FAT32 file system, and the best choice for legacy will be NTFS. Now, specify what exactly should be written to the USB drive. Like with the previous tool in today's video, you can add several installation packages and create a true multi-boot drive. Take the necessary items and specify the path to the files. After you have added the files you need, just click Go. Agree and wait a little. If you are creating a bootable USB drive with Windows 7, 8.1 or Windows 10, WinSetup from USB may seem to freeze when copying the file windows.wim. Don't worry. In fact, it is not frozen. Just have some patience and wait until the file is finally copied. When the process is over, you will see a corresponding notification. You can add the following images to your multiple drive. Windows 2000, XP 2003, Windows Vista, Windows 7, 8 and 10, Windows Server 2008 and 2012. Also, various Windows PE and Linux images. 
Now, extra features for the multi-boot drive. This utility also lets you edit the boot menu. The Advanced Options menu offers the opportunity to configure the images you copy to the USB drive, for example, add boot critical drivers for Windows 7, 8.1 and Windows 10, change boot menu names for the USB drive contents, and also let Win setup from USB display and use not only USB drives, but all drives available on a specific computer. A serious advantage of these utilities is that they can also add antivirus check when booting. That is why, when you use a multi-boot USB drive, you can always scan the hard disk for viruses and create backups before you actually start the installation of the operating system. And that's all for today. I hope you find this video useful. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions and share your opinion. And thank you for watching. Good luck!